my darlings i have not done a skincare highlight video in a while the only one i've done this year was something i decided to call my current favorites I did, some, I did it sometime earlier this year. I will make sure to link it down below because I keep thinking about that video and I always feel like it's a really solid shopping list. There were a lot of things that I loved in that season of my life, which is not a long time ago. It's not a long time ago. But we're here in May. Wow, in May. It will soon be June. It will be June when you see this. How did we get here? Christmas is coming. <laughs> Just a little bit of context, my skincare highlights is a series that I like to do every month if I have something to say about skincare that has really been standing out to me, really doing the thing and I felt like this month I've got a few goodies, I've got a few goodies. But before we get into the video, I'd love to let you know who I am, just in case you don't know. My name is Ijoma, I'm a beauty lover, a skincare influencer, a pro makeup artist and a woman of a certain age. And I feel like all these things truly inspire everything that I do on my channel. I want to start with two products that I did mention in my current favorites as well. That video that I referenced earlier in this video. Only for the sake of, I will always advocate, I will always stress that it is important to find staples, to find products that you keep going back to. And it doesn't have to be forever. It can be for a season. It can be for a couple of years. But our skin likes consistency. Consistency is also a fantastic way to find out if a product is really doing the thing for you. If we jump here and there like Bugs Bunny, how are we gonna know what's really working? How? Starting up, we have the BHA Dead Skin Moisture Gel from Purito. This is fantastic. I have used it for a few years, possibly three or four. Does the job. I love the size. I love the price. It really fits my skincare style. I really do like it when products that are supposed to exfoliate the skin are also very gentle and very soothing and hydrating. And this really does tick that box. The star ingredient in this is BHAs, which is salicylic acid, which gets into the pores and really breaks down any gunk and oil in there. I have combination skin, I get oily in my T-zone and I don't really break out, but I can get blackheads and whiteheads. So having salicylic acid is important to me in my routine and this is something that I really like and it's been shining for me all the month of May because I was testing a product the product was too rich for my skin so my pores got quite clogged so pulling this in was a dream really really helpful really really soothing and it was supported by this this is the naturally radiant glow exfoliating tonic now this is a little sister to the OG the green one which has glycolic acid from Superdrug this is much gentler as it has PHAs which are the most gentlest of exfoliating ingredients and as I was trying to soothe my skin from the reaction of the very rich product I just mentioned I, I just felt I like the fact that this is gentle I like that I don't have to I didn't want to go in guns blazing because I knew why I was breaking out my skin was not in pain I wanted to exfoliate almost every day or every other day and the fact that this was gentle really made me comfortable to do that i would not be able to use the green one the glycolic one every day no i would shatter my moisture barrier but this was really gentle in fact if you like to exfoliate every day or every other day maybe this one is one you could consider but i really enjoyed it i love how hydrating it is there's lots of humectants in this it also has a zinc derivative which helps with acne prone skin i also love using it on my body underneath a body butter or a body oil very hydrating i recommend it i recommend it i'm all about gentle exfoliation and since we're talking about oldies and goodies and this is the purifying face toner from nankin skincare this is a product i have spoken so highly about i've spoken about it several times it is a fabulous product I am a tonerholic, my standards for toners are quite high. This remains top five of the toners I have tried in my life and I have tried at least hundreds, at least hundreds. 
this is fabulous it refreshes the skin it hydrates the skin it does a lot for me and it does it well without being fussy without giving me huge promises it just it's a fantastic product the formula is simple yet elegant i love 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 this i have not had this in my routine for quite some time and i think i brought it into my routine around april end of april yes and as you can see i have just been dousing the skin dousing 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 <laughs> And every time I bring it back into my routine, I'm like, wow, you are beautiful. You are stunning. I missed you. How are you? Fabulous, fabulous product. I have an in-depth review of this. I will make sure to link it down below. Okay, let's do some body care. I have been loving, loving the Bloom Skin Plus Soul Body Portion from Bellano Skin Botanic. This is beautiful and it's a scent for me it's neroli i love that citrus wateriness that wateriness that neroli gives just lots of the fragrances i have been wearing have been going so well with this body oil fabulous fabulous i i don't know how i have ignored the body oils from bellano skin botanic for this long but i now must try all of them i must must try all of them ingredient wise it's quite simple there's apricot oil in this there's sunflower there's rose heat there's wheat germ there's vitamin e oil and the neroli how many times have i said that it is a beautiful product i have loved it and th this is definitely a repurchase this to me feels like summer skin staple just because of the neroli loved Next up is something that is not even glamorous that was just so randomly brought into my routine but this is a cult classic this is a staple and most of us have used it and paid it no mind this is a tub of aqueous cream from superdrug I bought this for Mr. Lyons to moisturize his skin but we all know how hard it is for men to moisturize so I decided I'm going to use this up because this is going to die a natural death in my bathroom. And you know what? It does the job. You know, why are we going out of our way to kill ourselves to find fancy creams? Anyway, that's not why we're here. You know, sometimes we just have to step away from the glamour and get you a good staple like aqueous cream. You can also remove your makeup with this, you know, and it's just brought me joy. <laughs> I've been smiling and giggling at its simplicity and its effectiveness. I've been using it as a body cream, adding a bit of oil into it just to give my skin a little bit more gloss, a little bit more shine. And it's made me happy. Ingredients wise, most aqueous creams are really simple. They just have petroleum and paraffin and SLS. They're really, really simple things. They're not complicated, but they do the thing, you know? They do the thing they're worth investigating i really think they are at least have a tub somewhere in the house you know just have a tub now for something that i didn't think was going to wow me in fact anyway let's get into it this is the swanee coco biotherapy fast essence i really like this very plumping to the skin very nourishing I felt like it was very supportive. I am almost done with the bottle, so that says something. I do remember removing this from my routine for about 10 days because I just wanted to see, uh, am I, you know, wishful thinking? And I really missed it. And what makes me like it even more is that it has one ingredient as a star ingredient, and that is Bifida Ferment. This is quite a popular ingredient in fact it is a star ingredient of the Estee Lauder night advanced serum I hope I'm saying that right and if this is what is making that serum bang then maybe we should just buy this as an ingredient it is meant to support damaged skin and sensitized skin and also support the skin moisture barrier I really like it I really like it 
<laughs> that's all I'm going to say I really really like it I think I want to try another bottle before I really decide if it's changing my life I want to miss it for about a month let's move on to something that I'm a little bit more sure of this is the evolve organic beauty radiant glow mask this is fabulous this is really really fabulous this is an exfoliating situation more so a physical exfoliant that's why i bought it because it does have particles within it but i like the way it plays you apply it to the skin and it rinses off like in a milky wash and it's also really nourishing so my favorite way to use this has been during my morning routines fabulous slap this on leave it on the skin for a while then jump into the shower and rinse it off and the skin is just polished and very nourished and very clean with a lot of perkiness i have also been using this during my home facials because i do have a step where i do a little bit of physical exfoliation and that has also been making me happy i love that the particles in this are coconut shell powder which makes this an environmentally friendly scrub there's also sugar extracts giving you a little bit of an exfoliation aha wise there's cacao there's vitamin e there's also clay there's sunflower oil and there's also some glycerin i think it's a really good well-rounded product many skin types would enjoy this this is something that i would not struggle to repurchase i am loving my experience with it yeah i definitely recommend this and i'm loving what it's doing for me i feel like may skin highlights has all been about experience and texture and things that have just been bringing me joy otherwise it wouldn't be in this video anyway <laughs> i just wanted to shout out something that has also been bringing me a lot of joy and these are the cotton sheets from muji i have not had them in my routine for quite a while I would say about a year and when I brought them back in they just filled me with so much joy these are gorgeous they are fluffy they are big they are gorgeous price as well this only matters to the cotton pad girlies you know you have to care you know I'm one of those crazy people I even want to try the Chanel ones I know they are 45 pounds for only 60 pads but my dreams are valid <laughs> I also can't get the cult classic Shiseido ones, the ones that everyone talks about. They're not easily accessible to me, but these, they do the thing for me. I feel like they're luxurious. I feel like they're worth investigating, especially if you don't want to pay too much for a cotton pad, but you want an elevated experience out of your cotton pad. The ones from Muji are really, really nice. Let's end this video with a bit of fragrance. I did mention a while back that I'm not going to be really doing fragrance content for a while, but I do want to end these videos with some fragrance, a little bit of a fragrance ramble, maybe a fragrance I've really loved or something that I'm letting go of. You get where I'm going with this. In the month of May, I have been absolutely loving Passion by Elizabeth Taylor. This has brought me so much joy. <laughs> much joy this is such a beautiful floral oh it is it is a big bomb and a lot of people say wear this in the winter because of how big it is but for me in my humble opinion i think it really shines in in between weather not too cold not too hot i feel like the mask shines the aldehydes shine during this warmer weather the coriander shines just notes that easily dissipate in the cold really come forward now it's not been too much it's just been like a fresh big floral with a bit of a punch because it has that base that I like of oak moss and civet and incense it's, it's just been doing the thing. Some of the other notes in my beautiful passion are tuberose, spices, honey, ylang ylang. There is musk, there is vanilla. It is such a vibe. <laughs> it has truly brought me immense joy over the last month. Mm. 
I definitely see myself repurchasing that definitely and that's that that's what's been rocking my world in the month of May it's all been about experience you know textures and joy and pleasure you know those things are my buzzwords <laughs> As per usual, I will make sure to fill up the description box with all the details of everything that I have talked about so you can do yourself a little bit of happy shopping. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. My name is Ijama and I'll see you soon.